Pre-Big Bang Universe. Roger Penrose's Cyclic Cosmology. Roger Penrose's Cyclic Cosmology theory challenges our conventional understanding of the universe's origins. According to the prevailing cosmological model, the Big Bang marked the beginning of our observable universe approximately 13.8 billion years ago. This model suggests that the universe emerged from an incredibly dense and hot singularity, rapidly expanding and evolving into the cosmos we see today. However, the true nature of the singularity and what, if anything, came before it has remained a subject of great intrigue and speculation. Penrose's departure from the mainstream model introduces the idea that our universe might be part of a larger cycle. He suggests that the Big Bang did not create the universe from nothing, but rather, it might be a result of the final stages of a preceding universe. In this theory, the prior universe reached its twilight, with evaporating black holes absorbing all cosmic matter within it. These black holes eventually became the only remaining entities, reducing all matter to photons existing beyond space and time. One of the key pieces of evidence that Penrose points to is the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB. The CMB is the relic radiation from the early universe, dating back to around 375,000 years after the Big Bang. Penrose's analysis of this background radiation led him to observe anomalous circular patterns. He suggests that these anomalies could be the remnants of signals from evaporating supermassive black holes in the previous universe. Black holes are unique celestial objects with the potential to generate energy levels comparable to the Big Bang. Penrose postulates that these circular patterns are extremely red-shifted photons originating from black holes in the preceding universe. Importantly, Penrose's theory challenges the concept of a Big Crunch, which was once believed to be a possible fate of our universe. The Big Crunch theory suggested that the universe's expansion would eventually reverse due to gravitational forces, leading to a collapse and subsequent rebirth in another Big Bang. However, recent astronomical observations indicating an accelerating cosmic expansion have cast doubt on this idea. Penrose's theory suggests that our universe will continue to expand infinitely until even black holes disintegrate into photons, paving the way for a new universe and another cycle, which he calls an eon. While Penrose's ideas are thought-provoking and have generated much discussion and debate in the scientific community, it's important to note that this theory remains highly theoretical. As of my last knowledge update in September 2021, it had not been widely accepted as the prevailing model for the universe's origins. Scientific inquiry and exploration continue, and further research may shed more light on the nature of the universe's birth and existence. Multiverse Theory The multiverse theory, often referred to as the many worlds concept, is a captivating idea that has gained significant attention in the field of theoretical physics and cosmology. It suggests that our universe is not unique but part of a vast ensemble of parallel universes, each with its own unique set of physical laws, constants, and conditions. The roots of this idea can be traced back to various developments in physics. Quantum Mechanics Hugh Everett's Many Worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics posits that every quantum event with multiple possible outcomes leads to the creation of multiple parallel universes, each representing a different outcome. This implies that the universe branches into countless parallel worlds with each quantum choice or measurement. Cosmic Inflation The theory of cosmic inflation, introduced in the 1980s, suggests that during the early moments of the universe, there was a rapid exponential expansion. This inflation could have led to the creation of bubble universes within a larger cosmic space. These bubble universes would be isolated from each other and could have different physical laws and constants. String theory. String theory, a theoretical framework in which fundamental building blocks are tiny strings, also contributes to the multiverse theory. Within the landscape of string theory, there are numerous ways that these strings can vibrate, leading to a wide array of possible universes with distinct properties. While the multiverse theory is captivating and offers a potential explanation for the fine-tuning of our universe's physical constants, it remains speculative due to the lack of direct empirical evidence. It's crucial to acknowledge that many versions of the multiverse are inherently challenging to test or falsify, 
making them more philosophical or metaphysical in nature than strictly scientific. Simulation Hypothesis The simulation hypothesis is a concept that proposes our reality, including the entire universe and everything within it, might be a highly advanced computer simulation created by an exceptionally evolved civilization. This idea has gained renewed attention, in part, due to philosopher Nick Bostrom's influential paper in 2003. Bostrom's argument, based on a trilemma, suggests that one of three propositions must be true. The fraction of human-level civilizations that can create ancestor simulations is exceedingly close to zero. The fraction of post-human civilizations interested in running ancestor simulations is also exceedingly close to zero. The fraction of beings with experiences like ours living in a simulation is very close to one. This leads to the conclusion that it is highly probable that we are living in a computer simulation. The simulation hypothesis is rooted in considerations related to the Fermi paradox, the fine-tuning of physical constants, and the observer effect in quantum mechanics. However, it is essential to emphasize that the simulation hypothesis remains firmly in the realm of philosophical and theoretical concepts rather than being a scientifically proven theory. One intriguing aspect of this hypothesis is the idea that our reality might be akin to a complex video game. In this scenario, physical laws, the behavior of particles at quantum scales, and the flow of time are products of intricate computer algorithms. This raises questions about the nature of consciousness, the purpose of the simulation, and the existence of the creators behind it. Challenges and criticisms of the simulation hypothesis include the absence of empirical evidence directly supporting the idea that our reality is a computer simulation. Additionally, invoking the notion of a simulated reality raises questions about the origin and nature of the simulators themselves. Critics argue that simpler explanations for our reality should be considered before resorting to the complex framework of a simulated universe. In summary, these ideas push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe and our place within it. They invite us to question the fundamental nature of reality, the origins of the cosmos, and the possibility of otherworldly phenomena. While they remain largely speculative, they continue to spark debates, fuel scientific inquiry, and inspire exploration into the fundamental mysteries of existence. Thank you for watching another episode of Space Odyssey while you are still here don't forget to like and subscribe.